In this video, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about starting your brand. And below in the description, there's a link where you can download my branding checklist. So a lot of people think that branding is just your logo, and I can assure you it is much more than that. Branding actually consists of many different things, including brand image, personality and perception. The first question I ask all of my clients about their brand is why? Why do they want to start their business and what is it about their brand as to why people will want to buy from them? One of the first techniques I teach people is how to write their own brand mission statement. This includes your brand mission, what you do and how you do it. The reason why I get you to do this is so that your ideal clients know exactly what you stand for. The next thing we work on is your USP. This is basically what you do differently to your competitors and what you do better. A good way of differentiating yourself from your competitors is to come up with a tagline or a slogan. Next up is brand positioning. This is based on four key areas of price, product, service and promotion. So price is whether you're high end or cost effective, whether your product is luxury or essential, whether your service is high or low value and where you choose to promote your business. We also look into your target audience. This will include things such as their age, their hobbies, where they like to hang out, their interests, and whether they're male or female. <laughs> <laughs> and from this information, we can work out exactly who's gonna benefit from your services and products, which will help you later with your marketing. And if you would like to know more about marketing, please subscribe, as we will have more videos helping you along your marketing journey. The next thing to help you on your branding journey is core brand values. Your brand values help you to shape the personality, your ethics and passions as a company. Next up is the fun part, which is creating your logo. First off, your logo has to be relevant, which means it has to convey what you're all about. Secondly, it has to be memorable. If people can instantly forget your brand, it's not gonna work. It also has to be effective. You need it to stand out amongst your competitors. And finally, multifunctional. Your logo has to work across many different platforms and many different marketing materials. If you're trying to convey your brand personality effectively, a great way of doing that is through colour. If your brand is more cheerful and quirky, you might want to go for the brighter colour palette. For example, yellow is a great colour for this. Yellow conveys happiness. If you're going for more of a responsible and dependable brand, then blue is your colour. Blue is very popular with more corporate brands. And last up is typography. A lot of people overlook this as they don't see it as anything important, but it really is. Font types have their own personalities as well. Again, if you're going for that cheerful, quirky brand, you want to choose a typeface that conveys that. If you got value from this video, please like below. So now you know how to set up your brand, we're going to talk about web. Click here for the next video, which will talk you through which web platform to choose.